What's up, world? It's your boy Joe Jack. I'm back. We got another episode of Link. Today we're gonna be linking up with my boy Patrick. Uh, today gonna be my first time tapping into the St. Louis sneaker community. They got some heavy hitters over here. Patrick is definitely one of them. Patrick been calling me and texting me all week. Patrick, I'm on my way, bro. Chill out. Stay tuned. What's up? It's your boy Joe Jack. I'm back. Like I told y'all, another episode of Link. Today we got my boy Patrick for real sneakerhead. I told you he's been blowing me up. He's been texting me, calling me for like a week. He's been excited. So. I'm super excited. <laughs> now we're here. So we're going to tap into him, see what, it, like I said, this is my first time actually tapping into the St. Louis sneaker community. So he got to put, he got to put on for y'all. You got to put four, on. I have to. Okay, so. You got no choice. What's up, Pat? What's up? What's going on, man? Uh, First and foremost, like, we hear about sneakers. That's what the Link series is about. You know, I'm here for this. Linking up with you, trying to pick your brain, trying to see where you at when it comes to sneakers and stuff like that. Like, I'm, I have a passion for this, so mm -hmm. I've been in, you know, I've been in it for a long time, but I'm just trying to link up with different people Get an opportunity to show off their collection, tell some stories, you know, just man, just have fun with yeah, it. So, no doubt. First, where did where did it all start? The love for sneakers, the passion. Man, uh, I'm gonna show my age a little bit, but I think uh, the first time I can really remember like noticing shoes mm -hmm. was '89, uh, the shop. Jordan over Craig Elo. Mm -hmm. I remember like just watching it and like seeing him hit the because I was already a, a Michael Jordan fan, a basketball mm -hmm. fan, but I didn't pay attention to shoes like that. I mean, at the time, I'm eight years old, so I'm not paying attention to that. So you never had like an older sibling or something like that. My my siblings are like I'm I'm a oops baby. My sister is ten years older. Okay. My brother is fifteen years older. Now they actually have Air, they had Air Jordan ones like they did love them, but like they're so much older. I I didn't pay attention. You to didn't that. pay attention. They weren't even like. You was playing with toys and stuff. Yeah, Voltron. <laughs> so, uh, but I definitely remember, like, it was the shot. And I remember him hitting the shot. I'm watching, and he's jumping up and doing the film. I'm looking at him like, what's that? Like, yeah. I didn't even, bla even black and red tennis shoes, I had never even noticed it literally until then. Okay. Like, every shoe was, like, white and blue, white and red. Like, so I just seen him in a in a black tennis I'm like, oh, that's different. What is, what is that? Mm -hmm. So, like, that first caught my interest. And I remember, like, seeing different shoes, like, paying attention at school it was um either the jordan 5 fire red or the jordan 6 maroon that white and maroon one of my best friends growing up was a dude named george compass who was a skater mm -hmm. he had the jordan 6 maroons he was a little bit bigger than me and his shoe was his, his, his uh, foot was bigger and i remember it was a size six and i was like a five and a half and he was a six and a half mm -hmm. he said these are too small for me here. He gave them to you. He just gave them to me. So, like, that's what, like... I don't think nobody would do that nowadays. No, but, like, <laughs> this dude now is a real estate agent in Hawaii. Uh -huh. He's really into cars. <laughs> like, yeah. he's got a, a NSX race car and all sorts of shit, but he still wears, like, dunks and shit like that. But he gave me, like, he, he sparked it. He gave me the Jordan 6. White Maroon was like, here, this is yours. So how did your parents uh, feel about it? Like, were they funding your sneaker habit? It was that old rule of one school, one pair of shoes. One pair, like, yeah. So I remember every school year, like that summertime, like, what am I going to get I this year? Get? Like, I remember always plotting on, like. So was you, like, was you like a kid? Was you beating them up or was you actually taking care of them? Both. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah. Like, I would keep a, a pair of beater shoes around. Uh -huh. But then I'd always have that, like, that shoe. Like, I remember uh, no contest. Mm -hmm. And getting the Jordan Seven Olympics, yeah, and just being like they released yeah. that shoe like four times, yeah, yeah. But with me, it was like um, I used to like to play basketball, so I but I wanted to be fly, so I would go to the court. You know, I'm chilling today, I ain't doing nothing. And they like, hey, you want to run? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so then I lace them up, but no, I'm I'm gonna take it easy though. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't finna do too much because I want to mess my shoes up. Next thing you know, they beat. So, that's kind of how it was with me growing up. And then my grandma, she she bought me a lot of shoes. My mom bought me a couple pair, but, you know, it's not, that's, like I said, you starting your son early. It's some, having kids is broke I seen, when I came and I come in the door, I seen a sneaker collection. I'm like, wow. Yeah. They got a better collection than some adults. I and I don't even, I don't even, I don't even put in stuff out there like that. <laughs> I could people, put people on blast. I'm like, nah. You know, he just he's, he does his thing, which is funny because he's got like his school shoes, and when he comes in, he takes those off and puts on his beater LeBron soldiers. So he's real responsible. Yeah, at like a he's, young age. Yeah, he comes in. You gotta grabs, respect that though. Yeah, grabs a snack, takes his school shoes off, puts on the beater uh, LeBron soldiers with just straps. He, uh-huh. he's like, all right, I'm going outside, and he beats those up. So how do you uh, how do your wife feel about your sneaker addiction? Funny thing, like I've known my wife since. I was a sophomore in high school. Yeah. So I've always been in the shoes. So she's always known me to be in the shoes. So it's oh, nothing. So it's the package that she had accepted. She already like she already knew. Yeah. She already knew. And she played basketball in high school. So she used to have like she doesn't ever talk about it. Mm-hmm. She used to have some some I remember she used to wear the uh the Cheryl swoops mm-hmm. and she used to wear a couple of little little things on the court. I'm like, okay. And she's a big soccer player, so she always had dope soccer shoes. So like she's not a shoe she's not a sneakerhead by any means, but like she, she like her shoes. Kind of. She's knowledgeable. So, funny story is, like, when we got married, of course, you know, for the most part, the the wife and, and the woman and, and her family, the mom, do all the wedding stuff. They let me have my hand in one thing. Mm-hmm. So, with our wedding invitations, the art, like, you got the little, the invitation, and inside was a cutout of a shoe. Mm-hmm. And you had to keep that shoe. So, it was Carmine's Bread, bread Fours. What else do we have? Cement threes, aqua eights, playoff eights, concords. So you had to keep this little shoe mm-hmm. as like you're almost like a ticket. So like when you RSVP. got VP. So when you got to the um to the reception, you had to sit wherever that shoe was, that's your table because each table had that shoe. That's dope. So you knew where to sit based off of that shoe. That's cool. So like one of my favorites is the Carmine Six. So like my family was at the Carmine Six. Yeah. So, when it come to sneakers, like, you know, I mean, first, what do you, you call yourself a sneakerhead? Sneaker enthusiast, sneaker collector? I'm a sneakerhead just because I'm yeah. that, like, I'm 40. Like, this ain't nothing new. So, what, do, like, I see you got Air Max, you got LeBron, you got Jordans. So like, what do you gravitate towards? Like, I think I got old and, got, and went now towards more comfort. Mm. Like, in the last, I'd say, Four years has been more Air Max than anything. Yeah. Air Max nineties, Air Max. I've been 1s. on an Air Max kick too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Air Max ninety seven. They've been dropping a lot of different colorways too. I'm here yeah. for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're inexpensive. And you can find something that like, especially with the Air Maxes, you might find a European exclusive that no one's ever seen before. Mm-hmm. You drop that, like, what is that? Like, yeah. oh, this is a, a Air Max ninety five. What the from the uh, the size drop and like. Yeah. People are like I ain't never seen that. Like good. So what? How are you copping shoes nowadays? I mean, with the, the whole the way the sneaker culture is, it's, Bro. So, it's so hard to even you know get the shoe that you want. I remember. I mean, if you older than me, so you remember lining up for shoes, camping out, stuff like that. Now everything's pretty much online or back door. So how do how are you copping shoes? It depends. Um, the more hype releases, I'll be honest, I pre-order stuff from uh, from one certain particular place. I know a lot of people, and I don't know if we want to give them free no, you don't have to. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's it's a place that uh, uh, DNA Mac mm-hmm. hit me to. Like, him and I talked about this place years ago. So, I, like, the hype, hype stuff, mm-hmm. I'll pre-order from them, which you got to be, like, lightning fast because even his pre-orders have bots. Like, people bought everything. Damn. So, his pre-order emails have bots. Yeah, bots. If it's like certain like runners, this is a real, this is a legit reseller. Yeah, he's been around since the Nike Talk days. Mm-hmm. So I mean, the first pair of shoes I bought from him ever was the Nike, uh, the LeBron Nine South Beach. Mm-hmm. So that tells you how long, like, long, 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 long time. Long time ago. Um, but runners, I'll try to you know with the different apps, but like hitting on sneakers is just like it's easier to win the lottery like man it's hard to do that a lot of stuff gets backdoored like i've been in a, a long enough time where like most things i can make a most things i can make a phone call and get but like mm. i guess what sometimes separates 
and sometimes can be a discredit like a sneaker head from a reseller i think coming up resellers like had that like scarlet letter like oh you're a reseller mm. and like it's a bad thing yeah. and a lot of places wouldn't fuck with resellers yeah. now the new drug dealers the people working the counter because now they want their cut because they'll they give cut. they'll give it to the reseller because the reseller's gonna give them like depending on what yeah, it they, is they middleman yeah. 50 60 70 100 bucks a pair so uh, like now off they, a full size run for, that's a full size run, That's so like a nice amount of money. If you just want one shoe, like it's hard if you just that person who's just like, I just want my size. Yeah. So like a lot of times, like now with the, a lot of these newer people working in the store, like they ain't showing me no love because no respect the game. Nope. I feel like it should be like some type of way to like rate a sneakerhead. Like you should be able to have patches or. St- you know what I'm saying? Something like that. I'm a five star G. Yeah, like I'm. You know what I'm, I'm saying? In Walk this. in the store, by like like Call of Duty or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You know, then you get the respect that you deserve. Like, oh, he come up to the front of the line. Yeah, I mean, because other than that, I'm competing with people that don't even care about the shoe. They just want to flip the shoe. They have no love for what the shoe is. And I'm no not. History. I'm not mad because I respect the hustle. Hustle something else though. Like, sell sell something else. But do you figure in some ways, though, depending on who it is, don't you kind of figure it's our fault? Because we made it look fly? Yeah. Because I'm getting to the point now where I'm just like, I can get mad at I the, never looked at it like that. I can get mad at the culture vultures, the, the swag. Like, I can get mad, but then at the same time, like, they saw what we were doing. Mm-hmm. So, like, imitation. Yeah. And see, I don't have a problem with, like, resellers and stuff like that. Like I said, I respect the hustle. And then, you know, we live in the Midwest, so we don't really have all the sneaker boutiques. And yeah. We don't have the round two and undefeated and concepts and soul fly. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't have all those stores, so we don't have access to a lot of the exclusive stuff. So really the only way we're able to get it is from resellers. So it's kind of I got a love hate relationship with reselling. They're almost my thing evil. is they, but my thing is, don't kill me. Yeah, like don't charge me eight hundred dollars for a two hundred dollar pair of shoes. But I think that's what's wrong with some of these these resellers because they never had the love. Like, you could have a reseller who is also sneakerhead. We know mm-hmm. we know some of them. Like, mm-hmm. they will charge you resale. Yeah, but like they have, and I'm res- willing to pay that. Th- but they're respectable about it, and like you could have that conversation where it's just like, all right, like this is they they make the sting a little less. Mm-hmm. But then you have the other people just like, you want this? this- I'm busting you over it. Just <laughs> bow. I'm dizzy and shit. Yeah, like <laughs> and like you ain't got no you ain't got no choice. And yeah, just like so I, I definitely have said like there are certain resellers that I refuse. To give them a dollar. Refuse. I don't care how so, bad I want the shit. Overall, how do you feel about reselling? It's a necessary evil. Some resellers I like because I can kind of respect that they came up in the game. Or even the resellers who are almost paying for shoes to pay for their own addiction. Mm-hmm. I'm cool if someone bought three pairs of shoes and they're using the money they... Oh, they the other two. To pay for theirs. Pay for like, and you see them wearing shoes. Yeah. What I don't like is someone like... Who bought all the shoes? Bought your size, and like you see them, like you don't even wear them. You wearing slides, yeah, or Crocs. <laughs> I hate Crocs. I hate Crocs too. <laughs> I hate Crocs. <laughs> Me and my sister had this conversation. Oh my god, I hate Crocs. I can't, especially seeing an adult man in a pair of Crocs. It just uh, it rubs me the wrong way. Completely. I'm like, you grown? What are you doing? You standing in the sneaker line? Like you should go to the back of the line. Crocs. Like I think there's an age limit on Crocs. Like after you're, I don't know, four. Mm-hmm. Can't wear Crocs. Like, my son Jackson, eight, but not wear no Crocs. Crocs is over. Yeah, like, no. Nope. Get you some, some flip-flops, some slides. I see you got a lot of collectibles. Yeah. So it ain't just sneakers with you. Bro, I'm a nerd. Yeah. Been a nerd. You Comic books. Jersey. Jersey. Nice jersey collection. Hey. Fat. I'm going to go on record to say that I am the first outsider to come in here. Th- you are literally, like, Someone walking into the back cave. Yeah, like you, like someone is, is infiltrated the back cave. Yeah, I heard. So th- this is this is first. Like there are definitely going to be people who are like, Patrick, let you in. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know. Like, have, don't even have a clue where I stay. I like, appreciate that. I don't know where you stay. Exactly. Like men in black. I'm gonna hit them with the little phaser <laughs> thing. Hey, we got a nice little setup right here. Come One through thirty-five, man. One, One through, through 35. thirty-five. Yeah. 
Tell me a little bit about this. I think with our age, I think, like I mentioned before, like the shot is kind of what got me into it. So it was like, I didn't get into shoes because of a rapper or like a, a tastemaker or something like I think a lot of people do now. Mm -hmm. Like ours was the athletics. Right. So it was like Jordan. Jordan or Dion or Gary Payton, Sean yeah. Kim we were talking about, talking about Larry him. John. Like we were, we got captivated by the athletes. Ken Griffey. <laughs> Ken Griffey, like, mm -hmm. and then what do we want? We actually wanted to play on our stuff because, like, you saw them on the court, like, oh, I, I want that, I want to play in them. So, like, that's where it came from. So I always wanted to have, like, I always thought I want one of every Jordan no matter what. So even if I don't on these, I don't particularly always wear them. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, I will have whatever the new Jordan. I'll have at least one pair of whatever the Jordan is. So um, it started off with the one, but technically it's the airship. So I even had to throw that in just for history, just like... Mm -hmm. And I haven't worn these yet, but like everyone thinks the band one is that. This yeah. is was the band shoe. Like now that is the band one. You gotta show that to the camera. That yeah, so that is actually the one with the X. So like this is a lot of people are like, oh, I got breads or band ones. Yeah. Like the, the one from twenty sixteen. Like like no no. This is the band one. That's the band one. This is the band one. Anything else is a bread one. This is a band one. So definitely like like we were talking about before, the leather on it's different. The quality, the quality is just. It's just different. Yeah, it's just yeah. it's just different. That came out at just the Nike uh, Legends outlet in Kansas City. Shout out to Trail. Got these from him. Mm -hmm. um, so Jordan threes. These mean something to me just because hey, it's the free throw line dunk. I got it right there on the wall. Like that's just this means something to me as well. Three is definitely one of my favorite silhouettes. What do you think is the most? What is your least favorite? I'm gonna flip the script. And ask you. Like what is your my least, least favorite? Well, me, I stop at. 20. Okay. And I don't care for the 19. 19 always holds a special place in my heart because of Jason Kidd mm -hmm. and Ray Allen, like, when they were really trying to, like, push, push. it forward. Yeah. These, to me, was trash. Yeah. Like, I have them just because I need them, but, like, I even got the basketball one, the more limited one, thinking to be better. Like, mm -hmm. no, it's trash. Like, there's nothing. So, to trash. me, I kind of skip around. So, 23 was probably it. Mm -hmm. I like the 23s. That mm -hmm. was dope. But skip over the 21s, the 20s. I love the 20s. Mm. Super comfortable. Yeah. So 20s, skip over to 19, 18 on down. Okay. So I, the, the nines have a special place in my heart to me because he didn't wear them. He wore them as a baseball cleat. Mm. But like to see how the legacy continued with Reggie Miller, mm. Mitch Richmond, Penny Hardaway, like the people he had wearing these, I thought was dope that they showed like. People don't mention R Mitch Richmond too much. Rock, you cannot He's forget Rock. Oh my He's God. A dog. Oh, he wore these, uh, a, a color in the All Star game. He won the All Star game MVP just just bullying people. But he had, the, like, he bullied, but then had the sweetest shot. Yeah. These mean something to me too because I always think of Michael Finley and Ray Allen. Finley, and just, Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, you like just taking it off and just wearing it like that. It was yeah. just like. Pre game, after game, like these, these always like they mean something to me. The fifteen is definitely a controversial shoe. The elf, I like it. Elf shoe, I'm a fan of it, but a, a lot of people, it looked futuristic. A lot it was, of people what was it off of a, a what was it was off of a plane, like a like an X fifteen. It was based off something of a like plane, that. which was like you said, it's it's definitely a conversation piece. Yeah. I think the most slept on one though, and I think. It, it needs its it needs its flowers, the Jordan two. The two, I love the two. The first Nike ever to to be a shoe a Nike shoe that didn't have a Nike sign. Yeah, like people went ballistic, like oh my god, how are you not gonna put a Nike sign on there? And to me, the two is similar to the ten. It's it's, it's not much there, the but it's a lot there. Besides the stats on the bottom, it's like just looking at it, it's like uh, blah. Yeah, but it's dope. It's, it's very stealthy. Yeah. And it's just one of those, like, all right, like, mm -hmm. and to me, the 10's not, like, I like the history of it, like, he came back wearing it. Mm -hmm. He had the four or five ones, like, I, I appreciate it, but then, like, then he crushed it, like, with that, like. So then you forgot about the 10. Then you, you forgot about the 10. The patent leather. To me, the Jordan patent leather Concord is the most iconic shoe ever. Yeah. That's my, in my opinion. Do you remember that commercial, uh, when he's like, he's got those on, he's dribbling, he's dribbling, he takes off, he's mm -hmm. just jumping, he dunks it, and then like he looks down, he's like 30 no. feet in the air. Like that, that, the, the Taxi 12 had to be one of the most iconic commercials too, when he, they're playing the Lakers. Mm -hmm. And he comes baseline, 
any like spins and the music that they're playing. Everything's slow down. Someone's eating popcorn. Someone's got like a water hose, and he just hits that spin move. Like the taxi to me is, is another like iconic shoe. That's dope. And you said mo probably ninety percent of your shoes have been worn, except for these down here I haven't really worn. But we were talking about like collecting stuff. So like one of the things here is like I'm old. Mm -hmm. The Dream Team cups from McDonald's from nineteen ninety two. Yeah. Like. Having some of this, my uh, my brother used to work for um, for General Mills. He retired mm -hmm. from General Mills. So like, back in the day, like I would get mm -hmm. all sorts of Wheaties boxes, mm -hmm. and like I got that. He gave me that picture signed because like Michael Jordan was at at General Mills, like doing all Pro sorts Bowl of stuff. So like, yeah, I would always end up with all crazy stuff, mm -hmm. starting lineups, autographs, different books, like all sorts of like. I like collecting like Jordan stuff, like yeah. collectible things. If it's fun cold pops, starting lineups, figures, mm -hmm. whatever it is, I just like, I like all of it. That's dope. That's dope. I respect it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh I love to see it, like the whole sneaker culture and you know, we're gonna do the um I'm gonna be on the show, the thirty nine castles. Yeah. So we will we working all week. So make sure y'all stay tuned. A lot tuned. of content. A lot of content. A lot of content. A lot of content. So, uh, like, will you ever stop collecting? Like, do you ever see an end? Or do you, like, you? I just seen the mayor sell so many shoes. Because he was fat and he to, lost weight. Yeah. That's why he did it. But it was like, ah, uh, it hurt just seeing the shoes go. He showed them with the 2Js. He sold them the, uh. 2J's Urban Necessities. Shout mm -hmm. out to Urban Necessities. I actually copped a pair of them uh, Do the Right Thing 3's. Mm -hmm. I was out there in Vegas and they had my size dead stock. So I like Urban Necessities. But will, it, will, will you ever stop? I think I, I would slow down, but I wouldn't stop. Mm -hmm. I think I've even slowed down in the last year and a half. Mm -hmm. Just because, one, I've seen so much, so it really takes a lot to get me like going. Like... Mm -hmm. Um, but then also with like my two sons, like they, you know, the oldest of the two, he's already taken, he's, he's, he's made claims. He's, mm -hmm. he's, so, I want that. I want that. I want that. So whenever he get of age, you got to let some shoes go. Oh yeah. It's going to happen. Or you just be, see boxes empty and then you, you know. But where did that go? And he's going to walk around with them. I don't know. But. <laughs> I've been had these. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> Where'd you get those? Uh, friend. What? Yeah. Man, I think we wrapped. I think we got everything, man. I think we touched on everything. Uh, we got to know you. Got to know. Got to see some dope shoes. We definitely gonna. Um, we gonna stay in tune, man. We gonna. We gonna. We gonna work together some more in the future. I appreciate hey, you having I'm, me. I'm all here. for it, sir. I'm all for it. So this has been another episode of Link. I got my man Patrick. What's your brand? Soul Me State. Soul Me State. Soul Me State. So you can find me on all platforms. Twitter, Instagram, PlayStation, Pokemon Go. Like, <laughs> I'm on there. Soul Me State. Soul Me State. So we got some more work to do, so make sure y'all stay tuned. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me, of course, JoeJack23 on Instagram, JoeJack23 on Facebook, JoeJack underscore style on instagram as well i got some dope content i post a lot of outfit pics kick pics, boys fresh stuff like i try you don't try you do i, try, I appreciate that you don't try you respect do. yeah you do but this has been another episode of link and we out